a sealed tomb, hidden for thousands of years. Deep beneath layers of rock and forgotten time, a chamber is cracked open, and inside, something waits. Not gold, not jewels, but something far more valuable. DNA, ancient, untouched, preserved against all odds. It belonged to someone who lived in a world before cities, before empires, a person who walked the earth when mammoths still roamed and ice covered entire continents. Their remains were found in silence, but they would not stay silent for long. In sterile labs under flickering fluorescent lights, modern scientists began decoding the genetic material. At first, the results seemed ordinary, familiar, but then a pattern, an anomaly, a whisper from the past that refused to be ignored. Each strand of DNA peeled back time, and what they uncovered began to rewrite everything we thought we knew about human origins, about ancient migrations, about the very foundation of civilization itself. How could this one fragment of genetic code carry secrets powerful enough to shake the scientific world? And what does it reveal about the people who came before us? Tonight, we dive into the shocking findings that emerged when scientists decoded ancient DNA. The truth is far more incredible than fiction, and it all begins with a single drop of blood, long before written language, before the rise of Mesopotamia, or the pyramids of Egypt, small bands of early humans migrated across unforgiving landscapes. From the icy tundras of Ice Age Europe to the sun-scorched plains of Africa, they hunted, gathered, and survived leaving behind tools, bones, and eventually, traces of their DNA buried deep beneath the earth. For decades, archaeologists believed they had mapped these journeys. A linear path of migration. A simple narrative. But that story was always fragile, based on fragments, assumptions, and gaps that stretched across millennia. Now, with the discovery of this unusually well-preserved specimen, Found in a cave system untouched by sunlight for over 9,000 years, everything changes. The sample came from a skeleton buried in a remote region of the Caucasus Mountains, a zone long overlooked by major excavation efforts. Local shepherds stumbled upon the site after a landslide exposed part of an ancient burial chamber sealed by layers of limestone. Inside, Archaeologists found the almost intact remains of a young individual, bones positioned with ritual care, surrounded by primitive tools, and wrapped in animal hide. But it wasn't the burial that shocked researchers. It was the genetic material still preserved inside the bones. This DNA was so pristine, so uncorrupted, that scientists immediately realized they had found something rare something possibly unique. The initial carbon dating placed the remains at nearly 10,000 years old, yet the mitochondrial DNA showed unexpected markers, indicators that didn't match any known lineage in the region. Not European, not Asian, something else entirely. If confirmed, this discovery could mean there was an unknown branch of ancient humans, a people who lived, thrived, and vanished, leaving behind no other trace but this one body. What secrets had been hidden in this mountain for ten millennia? And why does this DNA seem to defy everything we thought we knew about ancient human migration? It all started with a storm. A violent, unexpected surge of rain swept through the remote valleys of the Caucasus, triggering a landslide that tore through layers of sediment and exposed the hidden mouth of a limestone cave. What was once buried beneath centuries of earth was now visible. A narrow crevice in the rock, partially collapsed, barely noticeable to the untrained eye. Local shepherds, seeking shelter for their flock, stumbled upon it. But what they found inside was no ordinary cave. It was a chamber, ancient and untouched, 
filled with silence and the faint scent of minerals and decay. At the far end, partially embedded in the stone floor, was a human skeleton, curled into a fetal position, arms crossed over the chest, legs drawn tight, as if in eternal sleep. Around the body were shards of obsidian, remnants of tools and small ceremonial objects. But the real anomaly was the air itself, dry, still, and cool. Conditions perfect for preservation. When news reached regional archaeologists, a small team was dispatched. Expecting a routine Bronze Age burial, they were stunned by what they found. The bones were older than anticipated, much older, and the condition of the remains, including soft tissue in the ear canal and bone marrow, suggested something almost impossible. Viable, ancient DNA. Carefully, over several weeks, the team excavated the site layer by layer, photographing every inch, sealing the remains in sterile containers, and airlifting them to a high-security lab for further analysis. But even before the DNA results came in, something felt off. The tools found with the body didn't match any known culture in the region. The burial style was too ritualistic for the period, and the skeleton itself, its skull shape, its proportions, seemed subtly different, unsettlingly different. Who was this person? Why did they not fit neatly into any historical framework? And what would their DNA reveal once decoded? Inside a state-of-the-art genetics lab hidden within a research complex in Zurich, the ancient remains were placed under strict biosecurity. Only a handful of scientists were granted access. Experts in archaeogenetics, molecular anthropology, and ancient pathogens. The process began slowly. Cautiously, every fragment of bone was scanned, documented, and subjected to isotope analysis. Radiocarbon dating confirmed what the archaeologists feared to believe. The individual had lived nearly 10,000 years ago during the Neolithic transition, a time when humanity was shifting from nomadic hunting to settled agriculture. But this body predated even the earliest known farming communities in the region. The DNA extraction was a delicate operation, one mistake, and the entire sequence could be lost to contamination. Using laser microscopy, they isolated marrow fragments from within the femur, the area least likely to have been compromised over the millennia. Once extracted, the DNA was sequenced using next-generation technology, generating over 3 billion base pairs of data. At first glance, the genetic code appeared consistent with known ancient Eurasian genomes. But as the team dug deeper, strange anomalies surfaced. The mitochondrial DNA, inherited through the maternal line, didn't match any known haplogroup. It contained mutations never seen before. Not in modern humans, not in Denisovans, not even in Neanderthals. The team ran the tests again. And again. Same results. Whatever this was, it was different. A new lineage? A hybrid? Or something even more elusive? One of the lead geneticists, Dr. Elena Roth, made a decision that would change the course of the investigation. She contacted an independent lab in Japan for cross-verification. Within days, the response came back. They had never seen this genetic structure before. It was unlike anything in the global genomic database a complete outlier. And then came the biggest complication. Parts of the genome appeared to be artificially modified, sequences that resembled gene editing patterns. But that couldn't be possible. Not 10,000 years ago. Unless, of course, there was something, or someone, far more advanced than previously imagined operating in the shadows of prehistory. The results were undeniable. After months of independent testing across three continents, the verdict was clear. The DNA belonged to a previously unknown human lineage, not a mutation, not a variant, a distinct branch of the human tree.
genetically separate from Homo sapiens, Neanderthals, and Denisovans. They had walked the Earth alongside us, and yet left behind almost no physical record. Until now. But the shock didn't end there. Upon closer inspection, a team of genomic engineers noticed something impossible, a repeating pattern in the DNA that resembled an early form of CRISPR, a gene editing sequence. But how? The CRISPR mechanism wasn't discovered until the 21st century. Yet here it was, embedded in DNA from 10,000 years ago. Was it a natural anomaly? Or evidence of deliberate genetic manipulation? And if so, by whom? To confirm this, the researchers turned to AI-powered genome reconstruction. Feeding the ancient code into powerful learning algorithms, they recreated the likely phenotype of the individual. Taller than average for the time, unusually symmetrical features, enhanced bone density, and markers suggesting a resistance to multiple diseases, including pathogens that wouldn't emerge until thousands of years later. It was as if this being had been engineered for survival. Further chemical analysis revealed trace elements in the bones not native to the Caucasus region. Strontium isotope signatures indicated that the individual had traveled vast distances, possibly from Central Asia or even beyond. This wasn't a local villager. This was a migrant, or perhaps a messenger. One carrying within their body a story written in genes, one that predated all known civilizations. The final blow came when the team matched parts of the genetic sequence to mysterious anomalies found in other ancient remains across the globe. In the Atacama Desert, in the Altai Mountains, and even in southern China. All of them had once been dismissed as outliers. Now, they pointed to a global presence of this lost people, a hidden chapter of human evolution scattered in genetic breadcrumbs across continents. The scientific community had no choice but to accept the evidence. A new species, or at the very least, a hyper-adapted offshoot of Homo sapiens, had once lived among us, hidden, intelligent, vanished without a trace. Imagine a world 10,000 years ago, not barren, but teeming with life. Glaciers retreating, forests expanding, rivers carving new paths through ancient rock. In this shifting landscape, a mysterious people moved like shadows across continents. They were not primitive. Their tools were refined, their language complex. They left no great monuments, no sprawling cities. Only coded messages locked within their own biology. They lived in scattered enclaves, hidden in regions most would avoid. High mountain passes, desert fringes, deep forest valleys. Places where preservation is rare, but secrecy thrives. Their bodies were stronger, their immune systems more advanced. They knew herbs that modern pharmacology still struggles to decode. They understood the stars, mapped the heavens, and may have predicted climate shifts long before the invention of written calendars. But most extraordinary of all, they interacted with early Homo sapiens. Evidence suggests moments of contact, peaceful, cautious exchanges, perhaps even interbreeding. And yet, they remained separate, observers. Guardians of knowledge? Or simply survivors of a lineage nearing its end? Then, without warning, they vanished. No mass graves. No signs of war or epidemic. Just silence. Some believe a natural catastrophe drove them to extinction. A volcanic eruption, a super drought, or a cosmic event. Others propose something more deliberate. A retreat. A final exodus, their knowledge sealed within a genetic vault, waiting to be unlocked by future science. Could their disappearance have been intentional? A choice? A strategy? If so, the individual found in the Caucasus cave may have been one of the last of their kind. A biological time capsule left behind for a reason. 
And now, thousands of years later, their story is rising from the dust. Not through legend or myth, but through the double helix, the code of life itself. A single discovery. A fragment of bone buried beneath the earth. And yet, it cracked open an entire chapter of human history that had remained sealed for over 10,000 years. Through ancient DNA, a new truth has emerged, one that challenges the very foundation of what it means to be human. These beings were not myths. They were not legends. They were real. They walked our earth. They saw the same stars. And now, their story echoes through our science, whispering from the strands of genetic code. What else lies hidden beneath our feet, in caves untouched by light, in tombs swallowed by time? How many more truths wait to be uncovered, or worse, ignored, simply because they don't fit the narratives we've grown comfortable with? The past is not a fixed story carved into stone. It is a living, evolving mystery, and we have only just begun to understand its deeper layers. This discovery doesn't just rewrite textbooks. It reframes the entire timeline of civilization. It forces us to question how many other lineages walked beside us, shaped us, taught us, and then vanished, leaving only traces in our DNA. And if one of them had knowledge advanced enough to manipulate genes millennia before modern science, what else did they know? What secrets have we inherited without ever knowing their origin? The journey into our ancient past has only begun. And with every new excavation, every strand of DNA decoded, we are peeling back the layers of time, uncovering not just who we were, but who we might yet become. If you found this story as mind-blowing as we did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more incredible journeys into the unknown. And remember, sometimes the greatest mysteries are hidden not in the stars, but within ourselves.